Aztecs considered chocolate, or cacahuatl, to be the food of the gods. They used it as a ceremonial offering, a medicine, and even a currency. More than 500 years later, chocolate is still eaten at celebrations and used as medicine for the mood, if not the body. In fact, the average American eats about 12 pounds of chocolate a year. But are we eating the right kind? Welcome to Superfoods. Today, we're going to teach you how to get the most out of that 12 pounds of chocolate you'll probably eat this year by learning how to pick chocolate that's actually healthy. The key component in determining whether that candy bar in your hand is healthy or not is cacao, the plant from which chocolate is made. Cacao is one of the few plants that isn't cultivated outside of its native humid equatorial climate. It was eaten by the Aztecs and the Mayans long before the Belgians and the Swiss got famous for their chocolate. Chocolate didn't even make it to Europe until after 1502 when Columbus discovered it on one of his journeys. While cacao in its raw form is great for you, not all chocolate is a superfood. Most chocolate as we know it today is more junk food than superfood. Milk chocolate is a highly processed, highly diluted version of the plant product. It's higher in sugar and milk solids than it is nutritious cacao. And white chocolate has no cacao solids whatsoever, just the fats along with the added milk and sugar. Sorry, milk chocolate lovers. Your chocolate needs to be at least 50% cacao to be considered dark. You're going to need to come to the dark side if you want an excuse to eat chocolate and call it healthy. So what is it about cacao that makes dark chocolate a superfood? Well, it's surprisingly high in fiber, which is great for the digestive health. It's packed with compounds such as tryptophan, which is proven to elevate mood and promote a sense of well-being. Chocolate is also packed full of antioxidants, which help prevent everything from wrinkles to cancer. A 2010 study published in the Nutritional Journal says that the antioxidants in chocolate also help reduce fatigue. Chocolate also helps your blood flow more smoothly by reducing clotting and improving arterial function. Studies published by the European Heart Journal and the American Journal for Clinical Nutrition says that adults who consume small amounts of chocolate on a regular basis were 30% less likely to have strokes than those who did. They were also 12% less likely to have a heart attack. Chocolate is a higher calorie food, so moderation is a key to this superfood. Here are some tips for handling and storing your dark chocolate and cocoa nibs. Keep your cocoa nibs in the refrigerator for up to six months. Wrap chocolate in foil, not plastic. 